Okay, uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to finish off for tonight. Uh, this could be in the middle of an episode when it all comes out, or it could actually conveniently be at the end, or probably even more likely it'll just be at the very beginning of an episode, but either way, uh, this is not... This is not the end of this project, it's just the end of the day for me, because I'm very, very tired. And... Oh, no! I will continue this little marathon of goodness when I wake up, and uh, from there we will see this house get finished, and we will make at least a decent start onto either the sawmill or a sugar cube corner. And yeah. And uh, after that we'll do the other one that I didn't mention. Or the other one that I mentioned, but rather that we don't get around to. So either sugar cube corner or the sawmill, whichever one isn't done first, will be done immediately after that. Probably in the same day, but it'll just be in the same style of video where it, it's just uh, no clear beginning or endings for the videos. It's just going to be continuous clips. And that will continue until we start get started on the long haul, which will be won't probably won't be finished in the little series that it will have. But it will be getting to look a lot more like a long haul, and I will hope to have majority of the interior done from that as well. So until n uh, actually no, uh, so until I wake up, there might be just a small delay. Okay, so I finished off putting the floor in the upstairs. Uh, I bred the chickens once, and then uh, they gave me an egg which gave me another baby chicken. It's snowing now, which is good. It means that snow will start covering areas that should be covered. And... Uh, shit. I'm gonna have to go grab some more seeds. I put some cobblestone... That's weird. Put some cobblestone stairs just around here, and a cobblestone block over here just to sort of make everything make a bit more sense. It was originally a cobblestone stair here, but then they could... this wasn't connecting. So they were sneaking out a bit. All the, all the chickens have gone inside since it's scary, I guess, for them. Uh, just got a temporary chest in here, just for storing crap that I've been using to build. So let's see if we can breed you guys again. You and you. Yep. There you go. And another baby chicken. So breeding with seeds is actually pretty good because I have a ton of seeds and I'm not gonna, and I'm not going to need them all because every time I harvest the wheat field, I get more than enough seeds. And as you can see, we just oh no, that's not good. Forgot that this doesn't need to have snow on it. Don't need two of you. But I just went for regular spruce wood plank blocks for the floor just so I don't have any lighting glitch issues. And I need to put some more furniture in down here. So we definitely need a furnace. How so are they going to cook their food? Which is right outside. Uh, we can have that here. Ooh. Snow comes down here. It's pretty cool. Um, hmm. What else can we put in here? Uh, I don't know. 
Um, I guess I can always put in the furniture a bit later. So I'm going to head upstairs and put in some more walls and such. So if I can actually start placing them properly. Yeah. Up and out. And that there. That there. And then... Oh, that shouldn't be like that. Yeah, I think having three nice, uh, like, full-length windows will be pretty cool. So those will need to be cobblestone all the way up. No, not there. Just because then I'll be able to actually see out over my little nice pond type area, which I'm quite proud of. No. <laughs> okay, uh, mine those back up, hop back up on here. This is probably going to be, with the roof, about the same height as the hill, which will be pretty cool. Uh, it'll really bring this whole area full circle, because uh, obviously the other house is just where that tree is there. Uh, we have the wardrobe here, this house here, and then sheep herder's house there, the sugarcane farm, and a little walkway there. And of course, the nether portal entrance there. So now things are finally shaping up, and it's not sort of all just in one direction over there. And with the Stonehenge here, now there's actually spots where you can go and see the Stonehenge and actually admire the fact that it's there because it is. It was a fairly large build, even though it was all just cobblestone. Just having to design it and make it look pr how it properly, how it should. There's a bit of a pain. Uh, actually, yeah, I can put another window right here. So we're doing that. That looks much better. But I think the middle one needs to be wood. Just to sort of give it a nice a little bit more trim, and then I'll obviously have to do the same on the other side. So, I will quickly finish up putting up the walls in here, grab some more materials from elsewhere, and I'll be right back with some more to show you. Okay, so I finished the roof on the house. I uh, just did my usual full block, then half slab type deal to give it a nice little gentle slope. Uh, put in some log blocks there just to make it look a bit cooler. Put in this fairly big torch uh, just so that uh, I could get it so that mobs wouldn't be spawning on this hill bit. Because, as you know, I do want this whole area, the entire city, to be completely mob proof. Uh, put in a little bench here just to look at the little island we've got going there. And I have done some off-camera work. Uh, I know I said I wasn't really going to do too much, but I, it did occur to me that this city is going to be fairly big and this city is going to need infrastructure, more so than just having paths that don't get covered with snow. So. I started working on what's going to be effectively Grand Central Station for a for a subway station with minecarts underneath the entire city. Uh, I'm going. I'm obviously going, not going to be able to have all the destinations set out until the entire city's built, but I will have one sort of over in that general area by the tavern and beside the mushroom farm as sort of the like shopping district stop. Uh, as you can see, I moved the jukebox from the blacksmith's house into here. 
because when I was trying to dig a giant spiral staircase for the Grand Central Station, I died by falling into lava while I was doing some strip mining to make sure to get more diamonds for more pickaxes to finish the job, and I ended up losing the equivalent of 15 diamonds, which really, really annoys me. Uh, I've gotten two back since then, which obviously isn't a lot, but since I was bored and I didn't have, I didn't feel like building anything, I went out over into the desert, the desert way over in that direction, and I decided to try and get some records. So I have seven records, um, including the black one, which is nice jazz. And I expanded the chests, made everything a lot nicer. Or, this one still needs to be sorted, but this one's sorted out quite nicely. Got my diamonds, top corner of the records, a clock, just because I have clocks pretty much everywhere. Uh, my blocks of iron and gold, just for more compact storage. The jungle wood and the cocoa beans to remind me that I still gotta make that farm. Uh, a whole bunch of rail which all of this I've actually gathered just from abandoned mine shafts. I haven't made any rails yet. But that's obviously going to be peanuts in the grand scheme of things with how long this subway is going to have to run. And then seven saddles, which is the perfect amount. Uh, I know I said I was going for six, but now with item frames in the game, I can actually put one in a frame like at the front of the stable. So there'll just be a saddle in there instead of a clock. And I have two item frames up here. Uh, I haven't updated the texture pack yet, so they aren't supported at the moment. But they will be in the future. And then it'll be a lot easier for me to find them. So that's the reason why there's two in there. But my one of my ideas for the... Uh, like minecart subway stations. As you can see, I failed twice uh, when I was trying to get some records. I was killed by an Enderman and a skeleton. But uh, my idea is for every station for the subway, I will have right above the door an item frame with a minecart in it, just as a sort of marker. Because I think that's a pretty cool idea. And I think I'll start using item frames to mark out other air, other things in the map. I got a melon block and a melon slice rather in an item frame at the melon farm. Things like things like that. And this is the Grand Central Station. Uh, it's going to have is it'll be a one either a one or a three door or three wide door uh, obviously if it's three wide it won't be doors it'll sort of just be an opening which once everything's all mob proofed it won't matter anyway because there won't be any mobs spawning outside or inside to be walking to and from the place uh, this wall it's three thick of cobblestone right now and it's sealing off the rest of the what was going to be the spiral staircase, which was going to be, uh, well, it was going to be finished three wide, but I had to mine it out five wide so that I could get the, put in what I wanted at the sides. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a minecart elevator. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to make them. I do have a general idea, though, because after watching a video from Monkey Farm. I'll put a link to his channel in the description because otherwise it's sort of just rude to take someone else's plans or ideas and then pawn them off as my own. So I'll give any time that credit is due to someone, I will give them credit. So I'm going to dig this all the way down almost to bedrock. Uh, I'm going to have the minecart track run at about level 15-ish. So, 
or 12 to 15 ish something like that so that way when I'm actually digging out the paths for the for the subway uh, I'm a lot more likely to run into diamonds and that means more diamond more diamond tools and this whole whole deal can get done a lot faster along with all my other builds so I'm going to quickly do that and I will be right back